So this is kind of what it looks like before we make our final product. Uh, basically, we just took a whole bunch of scrap metal and figured out where we need this in place. So now I know where it needs to sit, where this needs to sit, and I have all the dimensions. So now we're gonna make the final piece, an actual good looking piece. Uh, and the final piece is gonna be a tiny bit shorter over here. This is gonna come down as one solid L, so there'll be no space there. It's gonna come down as one L. And then this will be one piece. And then there's gonna be some bracketry in between that will have to be welded for strength. But mm -hmm. this is basically, this is our dimensions to make the final product. Mm -hmm. And these, these two, these are the stock? Yep, holes those are the stock mounting utilizing. holes that held basically the entire, the entire rear end was held in by these two bolts and one suspension bolt because it's a solid rear end basically. Yeah. So they're very, very strong straight into the, um, um, it's like the unibody frame and this is gonna we're gonna have it brace differently to prevent twisting and stuff like that okay cool check out the other arm up it's about to replicate the other side oh are you gonna just make the one for over there then replicate the one again? yeah yeah so we're gonna make that one and then mirror it basically mirror it. to okay. this side so right now the only thing I'm gonna do is get this ready to cut the hole for the camber kit but when it comes down to this, we're gonna wait until we make that thing officially and then okay. this side will be done as well. All right. Just like that. There you have it, that's how it starts. And then it's gonna be looking like this. It's finally done. Okay, because you can see here, this is the the one that we use just to mock up to get some dimensions and all that. And this is the actual one we actually made. Um, you can see here how this thing goes like so. And then this one here is actually the one that we made. And right there. So, what's next? I got it, I got is, it. Okay. I'll put the bolt on with the washers and all that stuff. So, Let's just say this goes on here like this, okay? So what we want to do next Okay Okay, so And then this is gonna go Down here like this So yeah, this is gonna go down here like, kind of like this But it's gonna have a washer these are the washers here for it. This is the washer that goes here for this, so it doesn't hit against here. Oh. So we have. Oh, okay. We're gonna have a washer. We're gonna top. have a washer here on top. It's gonna go here like this, and then there's another washer right here, and you can see it's not hitting. Oh, Once you can, yeah, you can totally hitting, adjust yeah. it. Yeah. You can adjust it there, but what we don't, what we're gonna have to do next is, this is cool, you know, like, but we want to brace it. Here we want to have three points of brace so it doesn't move. So it doesn't, it doesn't yeah. move flex up this way, see it? Yeah. So we put another one here Over with there. the bolt here mm -hmm. and then have this thing so it doesn't flex. So that's the only thing points. that's gonna be holding these two up. So Okay, cool. Okay. So the next one here, we're gonna build a little um support right here, going from here to here, and then we'll weld the nut onto this. Onto that part, okay. Yep, and then we'll just screw it on. And then we're just gonna mirror it on the other side and, and that's exactly it. the same thing, so we, to do the outside right so cool. Check it out guys, the rabbit is on its way. Got that, you guys didn't even go with that. That's gonna be a three mounting point. Three mounting point, oh nice. Okay. Look at that, that's the whole thing. Oh, perfect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna weld a nut onto this so we can just screw it in. Perfect. That's it. So we're gonna, since it doesn't fit like this, we're gonna grind this part down here. And then we're gonna put it in the hole and then we're gonna weld that. We're gonna drill 
this hole out through this, and that should fit in there. Okay. That's good, dude. We're gonna weld it onto here. Yeah. Instead of trying to use rib nut and all that, I'm not a fan of rib nut. So, we just, see it. Yeah, yeah. we just weld it onto here. That's gonna be it's way deeper than that. That is pretty deep. Yeah. Well, we gotta do the same thing to that one. As you can see, this one here, you can tell a little bit bigger, but I'd rather just have a nice, nice, nice tight fit, yeah, you know? This one's done, I gotta do this one. So this is the second with the other side yes. that we're um, making. So this is what we just did here. Got everything, so this could be the gadget. I'm gonna play, yep. This side done, finally. This side looking nice. I mean, if anything, we could probably move it back. You guys know what time it is? Diff mount time. Mm -hmm. So right now we're just doing a mock-up of the rear diff mount. Um, we're trying to make it, you know, we could do a one-off, but we're going to try to see if we could do kind of like a kit. Like a kit, Because right? we have, yeah, we have this already. We have all the templates and all that. Um, the drawing, Everything, um, yeah. the, you know, machines. So as far as the back, we want to be able to use it where they could just basically get a kind of like a self frame for the back of the, the diff mount just to bolt it up. You kind know? of like, or yeah. go in the frame right there. Yeah, that's what we're trying to make everything off the frame and all that. So when they do get it, like, hey, we would never know. Maybe someone wants to do another one. Another Maybe yeah. we might want to do another yeah, one. Yeah, get another one and do it. Yeah. I think some of the guys in Europe in accent, you yeah. know, so you can see the angle here, we're trying to keep it the same here. Because this is actually gonna go up a little bit, so yeah. we're gonna try to get it straight, but we want to find it a little bit more back a little bit more. So we can have more places to weld into, you know. Okay. For strength and all that. But what's cool about this this one here that I kinda like is all these mounting points that we can use, you know. Yeah. For brace. For brace, yeah. Yeah, right. so we're gonna brace up a bunch of parts. And then, and then the top, the top brace of the, the this will just just be yeah. Like, that would be up here, like here. Bar. Yeah. Then it's gonna bar gonna go across there to brace it to here. But then we're gonna also link it back to this back bar here. Okay. So it's gonna be kind of like a whole ready for brace whatever system. power ready to draw yeah. it. Yep. It's looking nice. So we we'll probably just do two kits right now. Yeah. Do when it. we do it, we just do do two of each. Exactly. Yeah. One side tacked up. We got the top first top brace welded. We got the first top brace welded now. As we move forward, back on the ground with this one. Custom top and done. Check Wait. it out. Okay. Now let's get something. Can we get something to jack this up? Yeah, I can put it up. Okay, you ready? Wanna put well, it up? Hold on, let's get this one. Okay. Cool. Right here. We're almost done, we're almost done. We still got, we're trying to get the dimensions up here. So we can use the EG lower control arm. We're trying to base it off this. So we can't really, at first we're gonna put this right up here like like so. Yeah. But this is off too far up. Mm -hmm. And then the angle is kind of weird. So we need to push this thing down a little bit. So we get the, the same angle. Also, I'll, as I'll kind the, of get, uh, I'll get this down just a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Cause we don't want, we don't want this angle straight, you know, like a little slight angle here. But if this one here was all the way up, it would be kind of like this. Yeah. So um, we wanted the same angle and all that, so. You got everything welded up on top too. Yeah, all this welded, that's welded up here. See it? That's bracing to here. 
it's all welded. We have another brace. We're going to go from here to here. And on this one here, yeah. if you look back here, we're going to brace it this way like this. Coming down, Coming we have down. to brace this. Yeah, brace this up. Okay, nice. So, all right, man. It's a got the camber on. Almost there. And after that, we're going to clean up everything in here, go back and just patch everything up. Spray it up. And then spray it up and clean everything up. So this is all done. The only thing we have to do here, we're going to box this in mm -hmm. with the logo. Then, of course, put our logo here. So that helps one, two, and then the third bolt's up here. Bolt yeah, this is gusset here, so it's not going nowhere. We had to put the spaces on here because of this when we adjust this back and forth, you know. And it's actually perfect that we put a spacer now, this angle here straight across. It's even before it was kind of like kind of up like up this. Yeah. Okay. So right. Once this thing goes up, everything's going to be oh, perfect. Man. Sweet. And we got the diff. Definitely coming in, he's running wagon. Right. Yeah, he wants to run wagon, yeah. Good power. Good power. Let's check it out, guys. Looking good, looking good. Next video you guys see, it should be all completely, completely done, but that's almost this is the last of it right here. But you can tell from the back. You can tell from the back, check it. What do you guys think? Yep, yep. Okay, so what we're doing right now, we're adding this gusset right here to brace everything all up here. Now we gotta do this side here. As you can see. Jets is gonna go ahead and weld this up. Actually, we're gonna attack it first. All right, guys, check it out. It's all braced up right now, solid piece, pretty much the whole rear end you could say is done. We're going to be putting on our billet forks using EGDC as Sewn said and building a plate for it similar to our, our center or 80 center what we did right here. Check it out. Build a plate right here so it could uh, use the Honda suspension on it and this is pretty solid right here so over here we're gonna be doing the same exact thing so we're cleaned up right here for weld so we're gonna box it in and now it's gonna be angled angled inward but yeah as you can see custom mount stiff mount is looking real nice the upper brace Everything's looking good. One at a time, definitely. So this is how it's gonna look. Yeah, it looks good, man. Everything is like perfect, clear. Everything, yep. Angle is right. I like. I like. It's kind of for. I mean, I, I know you could have done it that way, but you know we're, we're used to it being straight. But this is still good. This is Pretty good. you know. When it dips down, I guess. Yeah. This actually looks. I don't know. I like. I like that style when it's kind of like that. Yeah, boy. We'll see. Yeah. Saying, saying, how do you do it? Do you have an engineering degree? Yeah. Engineering, yeah. <laughs> yeah, straight A. Fabulous. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got a fabulous degree. Yeah, anyway, so it, looks, it looks good, man. We did this one here also. We braced this in. Most likely, we'll probably do another one. I kind of like yeah, it looks put like another one, I yeah. Drop something else on it. Back here. Same thing, but back here with it like this. Back here. Oh, yeah. like kind of box. Oh, box the other it side. In here, yeah, box it in here. Okay. It gives it a look. Yeah. And then once we do that, then we can put a one here, like a plate here like this. Yeah. Okay, we'll box that in. Then we could go up to here and we'll brace it. One more brace, yeah. Yep, yep. Exactly. And then yeah, that, that should be it. And the, as you guys can tell, the dip, it's not the, going the nowhere. Straight. Yeah. It ain't going nowhere. If anything this whole thing will rip off the car and leave the car standing. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what a jeez. Solid. Solid. All right. It's all tacked up now. Should be able to stand it on. Oh. Look at that. Real, real thing. You like it? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real, real star stuff. Stiff enough. Everything's stiff. <laughs> and then we gotta brace it in here. We're gonna make a. We're gonna make a gusset here. Gusset up top. And then gusset here, so everything is all braced up. Firm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Now, time to take it out. And as someone said, we're gonna gusset up top. Enough. Make it more solid. For all you people interested in the rabbit in the YouTube world. Now we are making gussets. Just getting the gussets pieces ready. The top, everything is off. Shocks, everything's just hanging right now. Both sides. Oh, oh. So we're gonna be gussing up, stiffening this part up. This is really thick metal. I have one little piece right there already. Oh man, I touched it. Oh, you ruined oh, it! <laughs> So as you guys saw, this is gonna be right there. We're gonna brand the bracket. Let me get the welding done right now. It's gonna look sick. All tacked in the place, ready to weld now. Check it out up close. It's all welded. Now we're gonna cut open the top so we have a little access to it. But yeah, that's it. Check the other side out. Check the other side out. Bolting up the hubs right now. Everything came out looking fresh, fresh. We just use it as mock-up, but Rich is gonna get his own. But um, yeah. His looking own. <laughs> his own. EG co DC, DC coilovers. Coil and you guys already knew that because you know, That's look wheels you going on. Oh. Wheels, I, I'm gonna need to take a picture of this. I, I, no. Uh, yeah, no, the guy will take the wheels off. He's gonna come out. <laughs> no, no, yeah, both of them. I gotta, I gotta take a picture of it. This is for the thumbnail. Thumbnail. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna take it back apart anyway. For what? Because we have oh, to paint oh. everything. Oh, so it's not done? <laughs> it's just no. throw the tire. Okay. Like my chum. Yeah, man. Okay. Throw the tire in the bush, my youth. Yeah, my. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Everything is in there now. He's gonna purchase new coilovers. We just use it as base, but look at it. it. Looks really nice. Another look over, real close look over. <laughs> it's all braced up. Everything's braced, real solid. Check out those. Got welded finally, the S1 logo is on it. But yeah, everything came out super nice. All the rear is done. What do you think? All wheel drive, S1 built, VW Rabbit. Yeah. Jadonno. Jadonno, phenomenal. Don't forget, like, subscribe, snadama. Snadama nada. Boom. <laughs> Wheels are back on, everything lines up pretty nice. He's gonna run wider tires, of course, but yeah, everything's good. Yep, on the ground, look at that. It, it just moved too. Woo! There you have it, folks. There you have it. So if you wanna do your your MK1 all drive, this is one way to do it, using S1 built parts, you know? So you can put whatever motor you wanna put up front, any all-wheel drive motor, the tunnel is already there. But this is a prime example. If you want to complete also, just follow, you know, everything we did pretty much. And, yep, you can turn your rabbit into an all-wheel drive car. Not a closer look. Really braced up. All right. Keep on following our YouTube. Like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, tell a friend. Check us out.
Keep it gripping, don't get caught slipping. You get behind the wheel, build it your Honda's bill. It's military grade, but this is not a drill. It's American made, but we all will drive the world. I see them changing the game, that's when always will. Got them cars killing speeds and just sound like artillery. It's all will and deep, almost like a war machine. Like it's meant for the infantry, Air Force, Navy, Army, and Marines. Now they clock triple digit speed, and they got them on the bases. Must be all the innovation. Watch them racing information. Got the gauges twitching crazy, switching up the pace. Shifting in a Civic or an S2K. This is not your daily S1, always gripping pavement. S1, S1, you gon' wanna test run. All wheel drive in the lane in the left one. S1, S1, you gon' wanna test run. All wheel drive in the lane in the left one. S1, all-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. All-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. We'll have you gripping, don't get caught slipping. S1, all-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. Them wheels are always gripping, them wheels are never slipping. S1, all-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. Them wheels are always gripping, we'll gripping, don't get caught slipping. Even on the straights, yeah, warming up that ASEX. The Florida got the street cred, we rolling down the street quick. Got that MSD switch, B series or a ZC and that LSV tech, hella clean, yeah. Tell them where to meet at, yeah. We go to Mexico, racing for the pink slips, and ain't no 12 to catch us so. K swap the world till we spin the globe. K20 MR2 NSX CRX with the K24, repping that EF. Go back to the days of the HF, DX, the EX, before them green underglows. If you ain't see it, you must be running slow. Say you ain't something we can't afford. But we got that cam to cord that's S1 all-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time All-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time All-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time S1 all-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time We'll have you gripping, don't get caught slipping S1 all-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time Them wheels are always gripping, them wheels are never slipping S1 all-wheel drive, got the mind is killing time Them wheels are always gripping, don't get caught slipping